You could be the perfect candidate. You could be well qualified, interested, passionate about the work, affordable, and a perfect fit. But if you say one of these things, you might end up being disqualified for the role and not landing it. In today's video, I am going to give you 20 things that you should absolutely never ever say in an interview. Never. Let's go. Hi everybody, my name is Ben White with Ben Talks Talent. I've got 11 years experience in interviewing, hiring, recruiting, and I am passionate about using my experience to help you become the best candidate possible and land your next job. In today's video, I'm going to give you 20 things that you should absolutely just never say in an interview. And if you could avoid saying these things, you are going to better position yourself to get an offer and ultimately land the job. But before we jump into these 20 things that you should just never, ever, ever, ever say, do me a favor, if you haven't already, if you are new here, take three seconds, subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that notification bell. That way you never miss one of my videos. And if you are not new here, welcome back. Without further ado, let's get into the things I wanna make sure you never say in any interview you have for the rest of your life. Now, the first thing I want you to avoid saying for the rest of your life is I am a perfectionist. A lot of people actually say this in a, in a job interview. When they're talking about you, what you bring to the table, why you'd be a good fit, a lot of people think saying I am a perfectionist is a good thing. However, there is a negative connotation to being a perfectionist, that you cannot make a decision and you can't move forward. You spend too much time on the details, too much time making sure every little thing is excellent, that you're never able to get things done in an efficient manner. It is okay to care about the quality of things, but if I was you, I would avoid saying I am a perfectionist during every interview you have. The next thing you should avoid saying is I prefer to work alone. This often happens when the interviewer is asking you, you know, hey Ben, do you prefer, um, you know, or how are you as a teammate or how would your, your prior teammates describe you or what would you be your ideal working situation? Something like that. Um, I would never say, I prefer to work alone. Because if you have to do any work at a team, what they are going to see that is a giant red flag. This person is an individual contributor who is not willing to collaborate with others, not a fit. You wanna make sure you don't say that. Um, if they ask you the question, do you prefer to work alone or if you prefer to work in teams, tell them that you like a mix of both, that you are energized by sharing ideas and ideating with others, but you also like time to perfect the work you were doing and specifically get into your tasks Another thing you need to avoid saying is that wasn't my job or that wasn't part of my job. You know, if they ask you a question like, oh, in your previous role, did you do any of this or did they ask you to do any of this? You don't wanna say, no, that wasn't my responsibility. People who are interviewing like to hear when people go above and beyond. They go outside of the confines of the role to contribute to the well-being of the organization. They don't want you to say things like, yeah, that wasn't my job, so I didn't do that kind of stuff. Or no, um, you know, they asked me to do that, but that wasn't in my job description. Never say anything like that. It will not help you. Similar to that one, kind of like an add-on here, but they didn't pay me for that. So if somebody says, hey, did you perform this task? They didn't pay me enough for that, or they didn't pay me for that. Don't say any of those things. That will not come off well, avoid saying it. The next thing I need you to avoid saying is any negativity, period, but specifically on past bosses, the companies you've worked for, or your teammates. Listen, all those things could be true. You might've had a terrible boss with the worst teammates at the worst company of all time, but you don't wanna say it. Because if you say that, there is, this, there is a chance that the person interviewing you is going to think maybe they were the problem. Maybe they are going to be difficult. So as a general rule, in every interview you do for the rest of your life, you want to avoid negativity. It does not serve you, so forget it. The next thing you want to avoid saying is, I'm open to anything. So if they ask you, Ben, what kind of work do you wanna do here? I'm open to anything translates into, I'm pretty desperate. And you never wanna seem desperate as a job seeker, just in general, but also for establishing leverage when it comes to receiving an offer. You never wanna do that. Um, people have a tendency to think the more things they are willing to do, the better off they will be when they're interviewing, but that is not true. People like me, people like hiring managers, people like recruiters, HR, they're interested in specificity. What is it that you do? Now, if you're working for a small organization, you don't wanna make it seem like you're not willing to wear multiple hats, but generally speaking, you should have a focus and you should wanna to stick to that focus. The next thing that you don't wanna say is, what do you do here? So sometimes as a recruiter, you ask the people, do you have any questions for me? And one of the worst questions you can ever ask when you're prompted is what do you do here? Or what is it that you do here? What that says to someone like me is you did no research whatsoever. You were absolutely you know, unprepared. This isn't a priority for you and you are not the type of person that I wanna hire. Full stop. 
The next thing you want to avoid saying is, I'm really nervous. It is okay to be nervous. It's less okay to acknowledge it. Nobody wants to hire somebody who doesn't have confidence. So while everybody feels some jitters when they're interviewing, even seasoned interviewers feel some jitters, what you want to do is do your best to not show that. But you definitely don't want to say it. You do not gain anything by saying, I'm so nervous. I have never, even a single time, had a hiring manager say to me, hey Ben, the candidate you sent me, they said they were incredibly nervous to talk to me. How refreshing. Nobody says that. They like confidence, they like passion, they don't like insecurity or nervousness. It's okay to be nervous, it's less okay to share it. The next thing I want you to um, avoid saying absolutely is something along the lines of, I know I don't meet all the qualifications, but, or I know I don't have the experience you're looking for, but, don't say that. The recruiter, the hiring manager, the HR person, they know your experience or background. Don't talk about what you don't have. Talk about what you do have. Talk about how you're an asset. Talk about how you can come in and immediately contribute to the team and make a difference. Do not waste your breath talking about the places where you might be misaligned or not a fit for a role. That is a waste of the time. It does not serve you. Don't do it. The next thing you want to avoid doing is overusing phrases like um or like or like, like an um, okay? There are others, but people often use those words or terms as transitionary, um, you know, transitionary terms, right? Like anytime they take a pause, they go, okay, so I was a salesperson and I did a lot of selling and um, I also did this, don't do it. The next thing to avoid is acronyms. The person interviewing you won't understand. So if you're interviewing with a recruiter or you're interviewing with a hiring manager and you're going to use a bunch of acronyms that maybe they don't have knowledge of, they're not privy to, they don't get, you don't want to do it. It is frustrating. I can tell you from firsthand example, I have talked to candidates who just go through their experience. I'm talking to them and they're listing off a bunch of acronyms. And I'm like, I do not know what these acronyms mean. Not only is it a bit annoying, but it doesn't serve you. It doesn't help you because then the recruiter is going to go, okay, you said a bunch of things I don't understand. Can you go back and tell me about that? What does this mean? What does this mean? What does this mean? That's not a productive conversation. That doesn't help you. So do yourself a favor. If you're talking to someone, if there are industry acronyms, you know, for a fact, everybody isn't familiar with, just say the words. Um, you save time with acronyms, but you don't save time if you have to explain what they mean. The next thing you need to avoid saying is saying things like, hey, how quick do I get promoted? Or how long does it take me to get to that next level? What you were doing when you say that is you were looking past the role you were interviewing for. And nobody wants that because the reality is every single role that exists in the world takes some amount of training, whether it's just systems or whether it's a big exhaustive thing of training that needs where you need to teach someone like everything. There is an investment that an employer makes when they hire someone new in training. And by you mentioning the next job and looking past the current job, what they see is, ah, I'm not going to get return on my investment because they are already looking past the role I am hiring for. I can't tell you how many candidates have lost out on a job they probably otherwise would have landed because they talked about the role after the role they were applying for. Don't do it. This one's kind of similar to the last one, but it's different enough that I want to mention it. Sometimes they'll ask you about your hobbies or your interests or what are you passionate about? And that leads people to talking about starting their own business. While I admire your interest in starting your own business and think it could certainly be rewarding, you don't want to talk about it in an interview. Best case scenario, um, you know, maybe it's something that takes your focus away from work a little bit. Worst case scenario, it's a conflict of interest. Both of those scenarios and anywhere in between do not benefit you for the hiring manager or HR person or recruiter to be thinking that. Do yourself a favor. You can start a business. You can want to start a business. You can think about starting a business, but if you're interviewing for a role, do not tell them you are thinking about starting a business. Trust me when I say it will not serve you. The next thing you want to avoid when you're interviewing is swears. I don't care if they are swearing, you don't swear. Um, they might seem fully comfortable with it, but if I was you, I would absolutely avoid doing it. You are there to make a best impression. You are there to be professional. And with very, 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 very few exceptions, I think you are better off not swearing than swearing. I'm literally saying in most cases, because I know somebody in the comments, either on LinkedIn or YouTube is gonna say to me, well, what about this? And they could potentially be right. But if it's me, I'm never swearing in an interview. 
The next thing you need to avoid saying in an interview is something along the lines of, I'm going through a really tough time right now, or you know, I'm really desperate to land a job. You might think that somebody out of the goodness of their heart will see somebody going through a, like a, a tough time and they will wanna offer them a job. This is not a LinkedIn influencer post. This is not a Hallmark movie. That is not going to help you. If you are going through a tough time right now or you are unemployed, the best thing you can do, and I promise you the best thing you can do isn't share this in hopes of empathy. It's prepare so that you position yourself for the best probability of success. If you are going through a tough time, if you are desperate for a job, do not share that with the person who is interviewing you. The next thing you never say in an interview is sorry I'm late. Why do you never say that? Because you better never be late. If you are 90 seconds late to an interview, to some hiring managers, you might as well have been 90 minutes late to an interview. I tell people, um, it is just one of the simplest and easiest things to get right, but it's one of the worst things you can get wrong. Because if you show up late to an interview, what is a hiring manager to assume about your ability to adhere to compliance or timeliness? It says that even in the most important situations, there's a good chance this person's gonna be showing up late or not coming, uh, coming up big when I need them to deliver. Don't show up late. The next thing, let's go to the flip side of this. Sorry, I'm so early. Here's the thing about hiring managers. They are busy, they are very busy. And if you think, I'm gonna show up 30 minutes late, it's gonna show them, hey, on time is early. You're actually probably wrong. Um, here's my rule, show up 10 minutes early. That's a good amount of time to be there, be early, get yourself settled, demonstrate to them that you're the type of person who is dependable. Anything more than 10 minutes to someone who is incredibly busy and has a packed schedule, that just means you either need to wait or they need to entertain you early. You are literally throwing off their schedule at that point. 10 minutes is the perfect amount of time to arrive early for an interview. The next thing to avoid saying in an interview is, I don't know. There are situations where maybe saying I don't know is acceptable. I can't think of any right now. But if they're asking you a question about your skills, your ability, background, qualifications, fit for the job, don't say I don't know. If you need to buy time because you don't have an answer off the top of your head, ask them for clarification. Ask them, okay, when you say this specifically, what are you referring to? Or something along those lines. It's not great. They won't be like, oh, I'm so glad Ben asked me for clarification but it is a lot better than, I don't know. Now, the last thing I want you to avoid saying in an interview is anything along the lines of, this role is a great stepping stone to where I wanna go in my career. That might sound good to you, but again, this is very similar to one of the things we talked about earlier. What you're doing is you're acknowledging your interest in moving beyond the role before you even get it. That is a terrible look. So do yourself a favor, don't say anything along those lines. There you have it, that was 20 things. Avoid saying these 20 things in an interview and you will avoid stepping on an interview landmine because that's essentially what these things are. None of these things will benefit you. They will all harm your chances of landing a job. So do yourself a favor and don't say them. Good luck in your next interview, you've got this.